All right, this is my Kez S2, and we have a lot of marker cages on it. So we have um, just a motorcycle rim tape. Uh, it's reflective. We're running two uh, 200 millimeter discs with just a single puck brake, just a stock brake. Those are Kez brakes, which uh, most likely is just you know one of the medium to cheap end um, Chinese brakes. Uh, stock tires, uh, lighting. This is a like a dirt bike style KTM, I think it is, light system. Doesn't come with these brackets, so I actually had to install. Uh, this is a, I believe it's a light bracket, and this is one of the original straps that came with it. In order to make that work, I actually had to use one of the uh, the bumper stops, just wrapped it around it because it is a fatter diameter. So um, I had to do that. <clears throat> Look at the mirrors. I just installed the mirrors, and those are the. The folding mirrors that are actually very common, commonly used up top. Um, I like the way they look up top, but I actually just wanted to try something different. I just wanted a different look. So uh, on the bottom does work. I just need to tighten it down. I just kind of put it on there to see if I wanted to go on the bottom or top. I like the way, the way it looks on the bottom and visibility on the bottom is actually really good. So let's see what else we have here. Um, cranks. This is a 38 tooth crank with 152 millimeter crank arms. Um, I went with that because the 180s, I think it's 175 that it comes with, they're way too long. So 152 is okay. I would actually go like 127 on this bike. The frame's a little bit short. So normally what happens on these frames, on a um, moped style frame, you have the seat, and straight across from this nut right here, straight across, normally that's parallel with the crank arm. Because of this design, that I guess it's kind of off-road-ish, they raise that up a little bit, which makes it a little bit hard to, um, to pedal, like just normally. So having a 38.2 with the 52, um, 152 arm makes it so I could actually pedal like 25, 30 miles an hour even. So it allows me to keep up with uh, the speed of the bike and pedaling. Went with a single gear conversion in the back, which is a 12 tooth. Um, this one I actually tried to run without um, the electronics just to see what it felt like, and I actually ended up stripping it. So I wouldn't recommend running a 12 if you're not going to use any electronics at all. I would probably go like with a 14. So um, definitely go with, um, I don't know, just for me, single, single speed conversion is a little bit better. Uh, it's going to make the uh, bike a little bit lighter. It's going to make it um, just less stuff around everywhere, less wiring. So I did pull off the seven speed shifter. Um, I did add a light here, and this is gonna be the light for high beam and low beam. That's the headlight. Um, my daytime running lights running off of the other one. So everything else does work. I had to run a 12 volt converter in order to make all that kind of set up correctly. Um, light wise in the back, that's a stock light, but I'm probably gonna go with the LED on it. Um, chain tensioner. So this chain tensioner, uh, this is my second one. The first one I came that I, that I actually purchased was the one that actually rides in between the, the chain. Um, I messed up. I actually had it misaligned and it kind of just messed it up. So I bought a second one to see if this one's gonna work any better. But I actually do think I like the other one that goes into the chain. Um, it's a little bit more efficient. I just need to set it up correctly. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, DNM burner. That is a, uh, what is it, 650 spring? No, 800, I think it is. What's the spring right on this one? 700, I think it is. It's the second to the highest one. And uh, I weigh about 240 pounds, uh, 250 technically. And um, the other 600 spring wasn't working, so this is a 700. And that seems to be working great for my weight. I have it set so it's a little bit... I won't say stiff, but just firm. Same with the front, just a little bit firm in front, not too squishy. So this is my custom build, and I really do enjoy it. I'm a bike guy, so I do have, I think, eight bikes total. And this one, yeah, I'm not getting the same exercise on it, but I'm, a, I'm actually able to go a long distance, and that's kind of cool because you're able to see um, unfamiliar areas based off of riding a little bit longer. On a regular bike, you won't get as far, but you will get a like, legit workout in. So, I do like the mirrors. Get a rear view view of that. They do. They're a little bit small when they actually um, view. 
same thing over here a little bit small but it still works so you don't really need to sit there and stare at them you just need to see quickly if someone's behind you that's all so um that's pretty much it got the pedals got my control uh, the lcd screen i actually had to the way it comes stock this actually is pushed out further so what you do is you take out the screws from underneath here you flip it around and then you just mount it backwards that way it's actually closer to me i'm able to um, install the bmx bars and these are thrown handlebars uh, i believe these are um they're off the the their XL uh, 27.5 and let's see what else we have on here I have an extra horn so we have two horns which is gonna be second over here and let's turn the lights on okay so DRL is right on right now and we can go low beam and high beam low beam and high beam so technically that low beam is kind of like a high beam and then the high beam is kind of like a, a fog light um, when you're looking at the, the the beam pattern on which it actually pushes out so this is my Akez this is the s2 it is uh, pretty much the same um, as the, the ghost cat f1 those are pretty much all found on like um, AliExpress um, uh, not AliExpress, Ali, Alibaba. So these are bikes you can order straight from Alibaba. I actually picked this one up here in California. Uh, that's where their warehouse is located. So I picked this one up straight from them and brought it straight home and then just started riding it. This is originally supposed to be a bike that I was going to sell, but just through modifications, um, that shock, front and rear shocks were mandatory. The ones they come with are just springs. So they have no shock, really. They have no sh like absorption. So it was just like riding on a pogo stick and it just felt awkward. So this one, um, I do enjoy everything pretty much about it. I, the only thing I'm really doing now is just tuning in the cranks. There's a little squeak on them now ever since I installed these. I tried tightening them down. I tried adding grease. I tried adding oil. So I'm trying to see if I can eliminate this slight little um, squeak that it has. Uh, let's see, any other issues? No, that's pretty much it. So very happy with this bike and um i'll probably eventually end up getting another one just so you could you know you could ride with someone it's kind of fun to be able to ride when you could ride someone else that's really really enjoyable and that's pretty much it